Hello, I'm Jeff Blake from 10 Ton Books with New Blue. Welcome to Tips and Techniques. In this edition, I'm going to show you how to use the Film Look plugin from the Film Effects bundle. Making video footage look like it was shot on film can be tricky business. In fact, it's even very difficult to describe exactly what film look is, what with all the variations in film stocks and processing techniques. But with New Blue's Film Look plugin, there's lots we can do to make our video look as if it were shot on film. Perhaps you want to portray a particular mood or try to mimic a look from a television production or a film that you've seen. Whatever it is that you personally hope to achieve, New Blue's Film Look plugin is a fantastic place to start. Film Look comes bundled in the Film Effects package, and we're going to be spending the next few minutes looking at the different controls and how they affect your footage. This tutorial, by the way, assumes that you're comfortable installing your plugin into your editing suite. And you can see, once I've applied the video effect to some footage, I get my filter controls or my effect controls here inside Final Cut. And right away, you can see that I'm having an impact on my footage here over on the right hand side. So inside the filter controls, we have a color swatch here, which for myself right now is set to black. And then we have a series of sliders. We have tint, we have saturation, brightness, contrast, film gamma, diffusion, and mix. And what you'll find with not only this plugin, but with all of New Blue's plugins, is all of the settings and all of the controls are very, very easy to work with. As a matter of fact, here with Film Look, we're even given a list of presets that we can use on our footage. For example, I could go and try Film Noir and see the effect that that would have on my footage there over on the right hand side or I could go and try another one maybe heat or maybe ice and these presets are a great jumping off point or a great starting point for your footage but of course you don't have to use a preset if you don't want to as a matter of fact for our case here I'm just gonna go and reset my settings my plugin settings and then we'll go and throw in some options Okay, so let's get started with our footage of the street scene here. It was shot with available light, and as you can see, it really lacks a lot of character and depth and definition. There's not a whole lot of visual appeal here. So what we'll do is we'll use the Film Look plugin to give it a little bit more visual interest, a little bit more pop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and turn on my Film Look plugin, first of all. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go and set a color for my overall footage. So I'm going to click on that little color swatch area. And inside my color picker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find an orange color. Maybe, actually somewhere around there is absolutely perfect. I'm going to go with that and I'll go ahead and click on OK. And Inside the footage, you don't see the orange tint applied to the footage. That's because my tint slider right now is set to zero. But if I take that slider and if I drag them towards the right, you'll see that right away I get my orange tint appearing inside the footage. So you can crank that all the way up to 100 if you wish. Now, what's interesting though, is if I drag the slider in the opposite direction over towards the left, what happens is the opposite color then comes through, the opposite to orange being blue. And you can see now I have this blue tint or this blue overlay on top of my footage. So you can certainly mess around a little bit here with your tint slider. Now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to come in here and set a specific value. I'm going to set a tint value of 20 and that'll give me sort of this very light, very subtle sort of orange tint on my footage. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the saturation slider. And with this fella here, once again, if you want to experiment a little bit, if you drag him towards the right, you'll see you really get some oversaturated colors happening here. Or, of course, again, you can drag him to the left, and that will really sort of wash out the colors inside your footage. So what I'll do with this fella is I'm going to set him to minus 40, and I'll just hit tab to advance to the next field, and that gives me this sort of effect now on my footage, looking fantastic. 
Now, the next control that I'm after is called Film Gamma, and this guy is quite important for mimicking this film look that we're really after. He controls the way light and dark tones are really portrayed inside the footage. It's really going to compress your highs and make them lighter, and it'll do the opposite for your darker areas. It'll crunch them down and make them much darker. At the same time, it's going to expand your mid-range tones. So this Film Gamma option Again, you can experiment if you want, but I'm going to go with a value of 70, and we can see right away the impact that that's having on our footage. Okay, the next guy that I'm after is called Diffusion, and he's located just below Film Gamma. He's going to add a nice soft glow to the more exposed areas of your footage. If I crank this guy all the way to the right, way up towards 100, then you can see that the exposed areas, the signage and so on towards the top of my footage really get blown out. Or I could reduce this down again by dragging the slider to the left and I can reduce that effect if I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a value of around 10. My brightness, which is back towards the middle area of my controls, this fella here will control the amount of either white or black in my footage, so you can certainly experiment with that. I'm going to go with a value of 15 for my brightness. And then finally, my contrast. I'm going to set my contrast to 20. And I just hit tab there. And there's the result that we get on our footage. As you can see now, there's a lot more character to our footage. There's a lot more depth. And of course, there's much more appeal, just with a little bit of fiddling around with the settings inside the Film Look plugin. Here's another example. We have some footage that was shot in an indoor shopping center. And as you can see, our footage has sort of this green overlay or a green tint to it. And that no doubt is coming from the fluorescent lighting, which is obviously overhead. So what we'll do here is we'll give this kind of a, a very clean, almost an overexposed feel. So what I'll do is I'll turn on film look here inside my controls and for my tint color I'll click on my color swatch here and I'm actually going to flip over to my sliders here and for the sliders I'm going to go with my RGB sliders and we want to actually use kind of a pinkish color so I'll set my red slider to 255 my green slider to 128 and my blue slider also to 255 and I'll go ahead and click on OK. And let's see here, the next thing that I'll do is I'll set my tint slider to around 40. So I'll just crank this guy up to around 40, something like that. You can see we now have this sort of a result happening, which is very cool. The next thing that I'll do is I'll head to my saturation, and I'm going to set my saturation to negative 60. So I'll just pull this guy to the right just a little bit, maybe around there somewhere. And then what I'll do is I'll head to film gamma, and I'm going to set my film gamma to just 15. So I'll crank this guy way down to the left there. Around 15 is just fine. And what that does is it crushes the blacks slightly and it'll pull our highlights up just a little bit. Good stuff. Okay, Diffusion. I'm going to head to Diffusion and I'll set this guy to, let's see, I'm going to try around 50. That's going to soften our image, but it softens our image a bit too much. So let's try and balance this a little bit with some contrast. I'll bring my contrast up to around 40 or 50 or maybe maybe about 45 somewhere in there would be just fine. And then what I'll do here is I'll drop my brightness just a little bit, maybe down to about negative 5, something like that. Okay, let's play back our footage. Fantastic stuff. Here's our third and final example. I'll just kind of scrub forward here for you so you can 
see what we have here. As you can see, it's a fairly bland shot. There's not a whole lot of visual interest happening here. What's really neat about the Film Look plugin is you can use it as a way to convey a sense of mood in your footage. So what we'll try and do is convey a sense of melancholy inside this otherwise drab, flat-looking image. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to go and set my tint color, first of all. And I'm going to go and set some very specific RGB values first. So red is going to be 0. Green is going to be 128, and blue is going to be 192. That'll give us this blue here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. As for the tint value, I'm going to crank that all the way to the right, all the way up to 100. So now we have this sort of look happening. As for saturation, make sure you're all the way down to the left at negative 100. And what that'll do inside your footage is it'll blow out all the other colors inside the footage. I'm going to head down to Film Gamma, and I'm going to reduce this down to about 40, or therein abouts maybe somewhere in there. There we are, 40. That'll give us a little bit of depth inside our footage. And I'm going to increase my contrast. I'll bring this up to around 50. Okay, great. What that does is that pulls the man off the background, the subject of our footage here. I'm going to head to brightness and I'm going to set a value of 10. And for diffusion, I'll set a value of 50. And that will give us sort of this airy, almost dreamlike effect for our footage, something like that. So as you can see, again, just with a little bit of fiddling around with our settings inside the Film Look plugin, we can really take something that's otherwise bland and flat and kind of boring to look at and really give it a visual impact. In the real world, it's unlikely that we'd use just one filter for a completed effect. There are still a number of things I can do to improve the end result. So here's the same clip with a few other new blue plugins applied. I've used Rack Focus from Video Essentials 2 to introduce another level of interest and mystery. I've also applied Film Damage and Film Camera, both of which come bundled with Film Look in the Film Effects Pack. I've used these quite sparingly. Finally, to give it more of a cinematic feel, I've applied the Letterbox filter, also from Video Essentials 2. I hope you've found some useful tips to help you get started with the Film Look plugin. For more information about Film Look, or to view additional tips and techniques tutorials, be sure to visit www.newblueeffects.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use. Thank <laughs> you.